principal objective of this work is was to propose a completed chemical reaction mechanism of a reactivation of the human acetylcholinesterase using hybrid molecular dynamic simulation. Before our simulations, it was necessary to check the RM1 parameters and the inserted into the block point F bio of Mobac code bio and uh, uh, with uh, all the uh, Fortran code files, we, we join the library Mopac point A following the Garrett oh, oh, following the Garrett Groen procedures and with this we compile our Gromax uh, Q, QMMM package and the approximation used in this work was the onion where the total QMMM energy uh, have three terms the first represents the quantical quantical interaction the second quantical classical third excluding the classical classical interaction uh, in QMMM methods, we have two sides. One with, uh, with composed by the quantical atoms, and in right, other other side with the classical atoms. Uh, these sides are separated by an interface, uh, which is a link atom, which is a uh, considering uh, hydrogen atoms for the quantical sides and uh, dummy atoms for classical uh, side. Why to engage uh, QM and MM? For systems with too many atoms, the ab initio methods are inviable computational. In the case of enzymes at the reaction site, we compute the reaction of reactants, uh, energy of the transition states and the energies of products. And the formation heat can be calculated too. Our systems, composed by uh, acetylcholinesterase, the organophosphorus tabon bonded to serine 203, and the pralidoxime docked into the act enzyme active site. Uh, this system was inserted into a water, bo a wa a wa a water box uh, and the five counter ions uh, sodium was inserted to neutralize the total charge of the system. Then, we, uh, so we, we have a total of the 142 quantical atoms and the other classical. And in green, we have the link atoms at beta carbon, and the other atoms classical. Totalize 100, about 100,000 atoms. Results. The, the first step of reaction was the protonation of glutamate 334 by the histogene, this reaction occurred uh, naturally. Uh, as we can see, the proton of the histogene uh, 447 was transferred to glutamate 334. Then we extract the possible energy, QMMM, of reactant a possible energy of transition state and a possible energy of produce. The second step, uh, step, the start condition is the last coordinate of step one. And uh, we carry out uh, with constraints of distance B1, B4 of 3.5 angstroms at the time of 5 picoseconds, uh, following by 
uh, restriction of 3.0 angstroms at the time of 5 picoseconds. Then the last is uh, 50 picoseconds constraints was included, and we can we can see in constraints of 3.0 angstroms, the proton of rhodoxime was transferred for histidine uh, for phase 7. Then uh, we check the five last fecal second reactant and uh, compute the main value. The last five fecal seconds of products and compute the main values and this point as a possible transition and plot this graph. The step, step three represents a different trigonal geometry formation. This step was uh, carried out with constraints of the distance B1, B3 uh, uh, from 4.0 angstrom to uh, 2.0 zero, uh, 2 angstroms at steps of 0 0.5 angstroms at the time of 5 picoseconds for each restriction. We feel constraints of B1, B3 and B3, B7 of 2.0 uh, angstroms at the time of 5 picoseconds. The constraints was excluded and uh, the next uh, last uh, Molecular dy dynamic simulation uh, was carried out with a time of 50 picoseconds. As we can see, uh, in two angstroms of constraints, there are uh, different trigonal geometry formation. Besides the product energies to be minor than uh, reactant energies. In, in this step, there are no reactivation. Uh, so, uh, keeping the constraints B1, B3, and B3, B7 at the distance of 2.0 uh, angstroms, a new constraint was applied uh, between the B, B4 and B7 atoms from 5.5 angstroms to 3.5 angstroms at steps of 0.5 angstroms at the time of 5 picoseconds for each constraint. Then the last uh, 50 picoseconds was excluded and we, we can see in, in constraints of 3.5 angstroms, the, the histidine proton was transferred for the serine 203. And uh, without constraints, we, we observed the enzyme reactivation. And the uh, unexpected reaction occurred to was the proton of methyl group was transferred for the histidine 4 for 7. This reaction occurred naturally. How we can see. Then, in red line, we, we, have, we show uh, the Q, QMMM energy with constraints. In green, in my computer green line, a new constraint was applied and in blue line without constraints. Then to, to confirm our uh, transition state as a, a, a true transition state, the, uh, we necessarily carry out a recent calculation. As we can see, in each step of reaction, we observe a unique imaginary frequency for step 1, for step 2, step 3, and step 4. And to confirm 
uh, to characterization of the steps as true saddle points, we carried out the intrinsic reaction coordinate using the same empirical method, RM1. Uh, we can see that there are a connection between reaction, transition states, and the products. And uh, with this, we can propose a complete chemical reaction mechanism of re reactivation of the human acetylcholinesterase. Uh, proton uh, alpha histidine uh, phosphor 7 donated to glutamate 334. Uh, proton transfer of pralidoxine to histidine uh, 447. Uh, the formation of the bipyramid, tri bipyramid trigonal uh, geometry, the proton transfer of methyl group of the pralidoxine to histidine 447, the stabilization and the reactivation of the human acetylcholinesterase. Uh, the work was cover feature in 23 years of existence of the Journal of Brazilian Chemical Society was the first cover feature of this journal. And uh, we wish to thank you to uh, Federal Institute of Education, Science and Technology, the CNPQ, CAPS, Ministry of Defense, for the financial support, and uh, especially to international meeting on cholinesterase, and uh, wish you thank you for Sophia and my friend Thomas Franson. Thank you.